In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Jesus told his disciples, If any want to become my followers, let them deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. For those who want to save their life will lose it. And those who lose their life for my sake will find it. Once we were far off, but now in union with Christ Jesus, we have been brought near through the shedding of Christ's blood, for he is our peace. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, who in your tender love towards the human race, sent your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ, to take upon him our flesh and to suffer death upon the cross. Grant that we may follow the example of his patience and humility, and also be made partakers of his resurrection. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. A reading from the Gospel according to Luke. One of the criminals who were hanged there kept deriding him and saying, Are you not the Messiah? Save yourself and us. But the other rebuked him, saying, Do you not fear God, since you are under the same sentence of condemnation? And we indeed have been condemned justly, for we are getting what we deserve for our deeds. But this man has done nothing wrong. Then he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. He replied, truly I tell you, today you will be with me in paradise. Jesus, remember me. I saw myself crucified on either side of him. Each criminal had my face. On one side, I mocked him with everyone else. I saw his stupidity, the glorious audacity of his claims and their demise. He couldn't even save himself. And on the other side, I cried out to him. I cried out from the depths of my distress. Not out of penitence, it was something much larger and much deeper than that. I saw the heart of my own sorrow and its terrible loneliness. I saw myself cut adrift, my life falling and falling into the endless abyss of the darkness that swallows those who put themselves outside of God. I wasn't being punished. It would have been so much easier if I was. Then I could have protested my innocence or asked for leniency. But I knew I had done wrong and that love and forgiveness were available if I had the grace to receive them. So I didn't turn to him, not straight away, but to the side of me that mocks him. After all, we are only getting what we deserve. But this man had done nothing wrong. And still he has not spoken. He is waiting for me, knowing that I must find this thing within myself. Not just penitence, but love. Not merely acquittal, but hope. Remember me, I say to him, in that kingdom of yours. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, even in your deepest agony, you listen to the crucified thief. Hear us as we unburden to you our deepest fears. You spoke words of love in your hour of death. Help us to speak words of life to a dying world. To you, Jesus, 
who offer hope to the hopeless, be honour and glory with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy upon us. Let us pray for the coming of God's kingdom in the words our Saviour taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Most merciful God, who by the death and resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ, delivered and saved the world. Grant that by faith in him who suffered on the cross, we may triumph in the power of his victory. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. May God bless us that in us may be found love and humility, obedience and thanksgiving, discipline, gentleness, and peace. Amen. <laughs>